what you see me doing here, right there, is to more or less double my RP. As you can see in the bottom right corner, one last enemy player has been killed, and it's right this moment, where I get the landing uh, bonus RP, where I more or less doubled my RP. I only got one kill, some ground targets, and we won the match. But if you think that I'm just doubling here a few hundreds of RP, oh no. Let's have a quick look at the post battle results. I'm talking here 28,000 RP for a single kill and this is without boosters. And if you think that this is a fluke or if I have cheated or just made here some stuff up with Photoshop, no. Here is some 44,000 silver lines, don't worry that's mostly bots. And here is another 29,000. At the end of the following match there is even more, so stay tuned. Hello, hello there and welcome back to War Thunder. So, please give me a few minutes to talk you through this. Because I know it sounds clickbaity, I know that it sounds too good to be true, but it is actually a valid observation. There is a trick where you can, in air RP, double or even triple your RP income with little action. Now. I have a premium account and I have also here the premium G91 R4, the Italian original one. But this applies also to you if you have no premium account and if you play an attacker or a bomber or a tech tree fighter, it doesn't matter. It applies to every plane in the game. Because War Thunder is a game and there are game mechanics. And there are obviously also mechanics for your reward, both Civil Line and RP. Today I want to share a little trick with you that very much boosts your RP income in a great way. Regardless if you have premium or if you are free to play player, regardless which nation, which plane you are flying. However, I think that also the G91 R4 is a great example because this is a plane that is not outright competitive and therefore it's a great battle. Also a little bit of a carry. Again, please give me a few minutes to explain this to you. So in a nutshell, the idea is to have a little bit of an impact in the game and then just, you know, shooting down maybe one player maybe a handful of bots. I know I'm not proud of it, it's not the most beautiful tactic, but we are here for the grinding, are we? So, the thing is, after that, you have to return to the airfield and land, and then you take off again. And by this, you activate some huge modifiers, and that literally pays off. This is not a tactic primarily for civil lines, but it immensely boosts your civil line income. Now, I also want you to test this tactic and then come back to the comment section and let me know if this has worked for you. Observe how many RP you get for, let's say, two kills and uh, just staying in the air the entire battle or making the same two kills with the same plane, with the same boosters or not, and then returning to the airfield and start and taking off again. And here I have a crazy good example in this battle. I myself just happen to have a 15% RP booster activated, but that's not the point, just for clarification. So here I see a G91, I see some other players coming in and I am initiating a little bit of a dive. This is now a bit risky, so I uh, tried this out multiple times and it worked multiple times. Not so much the playstyle, but the idea what to do in which order. It depends on the map, it depends on the enemies, but the G91 is just not competitive. The plane itself is beautiful, nimble, can turn, has four air-to-air -air missiles and also 50 cals, which are just superior to the 23 and 37 combination that the uh, Shenyang and the MiG-17 can offer, or MiG-15, therefore. However, the engine, that's the big problem, because you don't have enough power. You just bleed speed in the maneuvers and you cannot recover it quickly enough. 
Yes, here I'm a little bit air breaking, and the air breaking is also not the most effective one that there is. But I just wanted to share with you that shot. Watch. Oof. <laughs> that was that was lucky, I admit. But again, at this point, at this point, I know I have now to return to the airfield and secure those modifiers because I just killed a player and a couple of bots. So I'm already on my way home. I see on the radar that there is nothing behind me securing this R28 snack. Look at the amount of ammunition, the amount of air-to-air -air missiles at the fuel. I have enough to go with the fight and contribute to my team's success. But I prefer to land. And yeah, I know that this is uh, something that can be criticized. But I also have to see it from the other side. What am I useful to? Who am I useful to as a dead player that just was a, a, a snack along the way for the Sabres, for the MiG-15s and 17s, etc. Um, when I just simply uh, die in the furball right at the start of the battle. My impact is zero except being a kill, uh, an RP and SL Piñata for some enemy player. So. I want to grind. I want to get the civil lines and especially the RP. So here I'm the last player on my team. There are uh, four players technically left. Uh, Phila or Philat is in the Yak 9 a bot player, a replacement for a player that probably had a disconnect. And then there is a German G91 R3. Then there is an ME 262C variant and a MiG-17 AS. And I think I remember that at some point around about now, the MiG-17 actually crashed uh, when trying to go back to the airfield. So technically it's a two versus one. The MiG-17 is far away. I tried to take on some speed and yeah, to just simply take the fight because I, I still want to win. And uh, I just tried to get the best out of this match. So the G91 comes out of the blue, quite literally. We exchange some head-on shots, and this is critical. The G91 R3 is faster than me in this situation. He has more energy, and it looks like I'm energy trapping here myself. But in fact, look where I'm going. Did you lose orientation? I didn't. Now he is in the stall maneuver, and this opens for me the opportunity to use this window of opportunity to escape. The R3 um, has no air-to-air -air missiles, at least that one. And I can accelerate here and yeah, I'm with full power, 101%, and I'm barely escaping here. So I wanna return to my airfield to kind of scare him away because I just didn't have the energy. I was in a bad spot. Um, so you can say, okay, this tactic is stupid, but there are obviously always situations, special situations, special situ uh, cases where uh, you have to decide if it is worth playing or if the battle is already secured and uh, the rest of your teammates are chasing an enemy bomber. Then it's worth returning back to the airfield and taking off because this literally gives you uh, not just a few hundred, but thousands upon ten thousands of additional RP. I'm not kidding and I'll prove it with the post battle results. Again, returning to the airfield after you did some action. So the first landing which we just uh, completed a couple of minutes ago, we killed one enemy player and a couple of bots and now I have to survive. And uh, I hope that I can kill this guy and then make a landing before the other player can um, kind of make his appearance. So I have here a little bit of a conversation. My AAA is sleepy as always because when I need the AAA it's not there. Whenever I come close to the enemy airfield I get blasted out of the sky more or less immediately. That's just how War Thunder works for me. <laughs> so the G91 is diving on me and yep I dodge him. Now in this fight he makes several mistakes. I think the R3 is superior. Those are, are some optimistic shots and a very optimistic missile. And it was again the same trick. I opened myself up a window of opportunity to make my escape. 
and just look how relatively slow this plane is and how quick the G91 comes after me in just a couple of seconds. And you know they are in their base core the same plane but the plane's engines are so weak despite the plane being so light that even the difference in air-to-air -air missiles is noticeable. So my pilot doesn't have the expert crew qualification so I have not just to fight the R3 behind me but also the pilot to not get unconscious which is uh, difficult to be polite. But here he commits to a rolling scissor. He has the energy advantage. He could have boomed and zoomed me uh, like he desired but he gives me the opportunity to hit him first and then instead of disengaging because he has all the time in the world I'm, I'm, I'm here right at the edge of falling out of the sky he just more or less maneuvers himself into my 50 kills and yeah it took a bit longer but we got the kill and immediately I'm thinking of landing again and taking off before the enemy the ME262 which is the remaining last enemy player left alive makes his appearance to just maximize it but the question is is it worth if he catches me on the runway I'm literally a sitting duck so hmm. <laughs> my spider senses are tingling where is he he knows exactly where I am because he just should have seen me across the map when I was in a fight with the R3 which spotted for him and in fact there he is I didn't see the dot but my spider senses were tingling that is experience and I just want to cripple him but in fact I outright kill him and that is the match one but not quite because there is the bot player replacement thing still alive and I have enough ammunition fuel and even air-to-air -air missiles although not against the prop though to take him on but again this is the perfect situation where I can show off the additional civil line, uh, no, the additional RP gain with an additional second landing and then uh, just in a couple of minutes a third takeoff. So again, the R3, you have to be below 330 kilometers before you deploy the landing gear uh, or you get a warning and also the air brake is not that effective but the braking parachute is really really nice just with the Vautour and there is the landing additional RP reward. So a couple of moments later and we are in the air again and here I have no idea where the last enemy is I was just glad again that he didn't go for the usual Gaijin kamikaze programming and uh, before that he actually hunted down one of our uh, some of our bots. I launch here the um, blind hunt uh, order and that gives his position away and in fact he goes into a head-on. So I still have to get some speed under my belt and I commit apparently to the head-on but I roll out of the way in time so I just want to probably hit him maybe make his engine smoke and there his shots pass. I popped his oil radiator and look at this. The smoke line actually have stopped so he's already completely out of oil. And he is hopefully under AA fire. No, AA sleepy again. <laughs> anyway, so I just, I just zoom away. I have enough time on the blind hunt award. I have all the energy, ammunition and fuel in the world. It's a little bit overcautious but you never know because Gaijin's uh, dark sorcery programming is always uh, <clears throat> something to be scared of. Anyway, so I just now close in on him and just seal the deal. It was a little bit of a carry. You might argue that it was unnecessary because maybe if I would have directly participated in the fight I would have shot down more players. Yeah, maybe and I guess you do not always get this kind of carry success with this plane versus those enemies etc. I know but it's just about the multipliers it's just about the extra RP gain and in particular this is a tactic for not uh, top-notch planes this is something for planes that are in a disadvantage either because they are stock tech tree planes 
or because they are fully up tiered planes or they are just simply not competitive due to BR compression or whatever Gaijin's recent BR changes were. You know, there are so many planes that are not really desirable to grind with, but to then use the sim simple landing and take off trick while you still participate in the battle, you know, it's for those planes. Let's have a look at the RP and the Civil Lines. Civil Lines, Peanuts, 104,000, it's still good. And with a 15% Civil Line uh, RP booster, I got 37,280 RP for three player kills and uh, five bots. And yeah, winning the game. I know it's a lot and it's not as much if you have no premium account, if you don't have a um, premium plane, but still that's a huge amount. And so I'm really glad that I had this showcase because it just shows that I had the additional two landings and takeoffs and it just really is amazing. So again, I hope that you try this out for yourself. Let me know then later if you come back to this video to report me your observations, your experience with this trick, if it really pays off. And you might uh, look through the recent messages, the battle reports that you had previously where you didn't make a landing and in the, in the retake off. So I think that this really helps you out with your stock grind, with your grinding overall. And that's it for me today. I think this video really deserves a like and also a subscription if you want to see more. That's it for me today. And so we'll see each other on the waves, on the battlefields and in the skies of War Thunder.